Law enforcement increasingly under the microscope these days. It might be hard to understand why somebody would go into that profession. But candidates in a state patrol program to recruit and hire more diverse troopers have some interesting motivations for wanting to enforce the rules of the road. Maury Glover has their stories. One, two, three, for these new recruits, the road to the state patrol two, includes a pit stop in physical training. But at a time when law enforcement is more scrutinized than ever, each candidate has their own reasons for why they're going into this line of work. From experience, I can see what a lack of law enforcement can to do, to, can do to a community. Hanad Hussein grew up in Somalia before his family fled the civil war there and eventually moved to Minnesota. He signed up for the State Patrol's Law Enforcement Training Opportunity, or LEADO program, because he wants to be the change he wants to see in the way police officers enforce the law, while becoming the first Somali American to become a Minnesota State Trooper in the process. Because I want to be part of the solution, you know. Uh, uh, being involved, you know, you can do your part. Well, I love helping people out, and with with law enforcement, I feel like I could do more better with my life. Lee Tu Yang has two older brothers who are police officers in Milwaukee. He believes becoming a state trooper will help him make a difference. And as a Hmong American, help communities of color see more law enforcement officers who look like them. Do what you believe in. If you believe this is the job for you, go ahead, do it, and just believe what you, you can do, you know, uh, make a change. My dad was a firefighter for St. Paul, so I grew up with that as as an influence. In the meantime, for Delaney Slatton, the state patrol is an alternative to going into the military that allows her to stay in Minnesota. She sees law enforcement as a way to serve the community, even though the current climate of anti-police sentiment caused her to re-examine if this is really what she wants to do. I came to the realization that we still need law enforcement, and I think that um, there are a lot of changes happening within law enforcement. I think it's good that there's a group of us and many other groups that are going through it and uh, taking those changes under our belts and recessing kind of how things have been done in the past. In Brooklyn Park, Maury Glover, Box 9.